hello everyone welcome back so from this video we are going to start a new uh, lecture series on signals and systems if you are first time to my channel please consider subscribing so in this video we'll learn about signals and in the upcoming videos we'll learn about systems okay so signals so what is a signal a signal is information contained waveform information contained waveform so if you generally represent any uh, waveform then it is just called as waveform if that waveform contains some information to be conveyed then that waveform is called as signal okay so that is the basic difference between a signal and waveform and signal is a physical quantity signal is a physical quantity which varies with which varies with time space and independent variables independent variables okay so a, a signal is a physical quantity which also varies with time space and independent variables okay so generally classification of signals so classification of signals so broad classification of signals is of three types one is continuous time continuous time or analog signals continuous time signals are also called as analog signals and second is discrete time signals discrete time signals and the third classification is digital signals digital signals so continuous time signals are generally represented with x of t with x of t that is amplitude here this x of t represents amplitude which is represented on y axis and t on x axis okay so gen generally any continuous time signal so this is an example of continuous time signal x of t and t so generally it is continuous in time and continuous in amplitude continuous in amplitude any signal which is continuous in time and continuous in amplitude is called as continuous time signal or it is also called as analog signal for example this all sinusoidal signals okay any triangular signal all these are examples of continuous time signals only okay so it is represented by x of t with t that is time axis on the x axis okay so this t represents time axis and next is discrete time signals so discrete time signals are discrete in time discrete in time but continuous in amplitude continuous in amplitude so discrete time signals does not exist physically so we are going to sample continuous time signals in order to obtain the discrete time signals so discrete time signals are generally represented by x of n so this x of n that is the discrete time signals are obtained from the uh, continuous time signals only x of t by sampling it at nts okay so x of n is equal to x of t at t is equal to nts that is a simple a switch is taken here okay so at the input of the switch we will apply the continuous time signal and at the output of the switch we'll get the discrete time signal so this switch is closed for every ts seconds for every ts seconds if we close the switch then the corresponding sample value will be taken here 
and we'll get the discrete time signal so for example so if this is your continuous time signal so if you sample at uh, every ts suppose ts is equal to one second so if you consider ts is equal to one second t here is in seconds so it is now first closed at first one second so we'll get a sample here okay and uh, next it is again closed at uh, the gap between two samples or the gap between two uh, two samples is one second so we'll again close the switch at two so one seconds two seconds three four and so on so if you observe here it is continuous in amplitude and discrete in time so it is continuous in amplitude but discrete in time because the discrete time signals are obtained again from the continuous time signals only okay so this is the sampling method we will uh, understand this sampling in the upcoming classes in this uh, video series okay clearly i'll explain there about this sampling and the third classification of the signals is digital signals so digital signals are discrete in time discrete in time and quantized in amplitude quantized in amplitude so quantization means rounding off to the nearest value so it is again obtained from discrete time signals and discrete time signals are in turn obtained from continuous time signals so only continuous time signals exist in nature so from continuous time signals we will obtain discrete time signals and from discrete time signals by quantizing the amplitude that is rounding off the amplitudes to the nearest integer values we are going to get the digital signal suppose the sample value the sample value here may be 1.5 so in digital signal 1.5 is converted to its nearest rounded value which is equal to 2 and uh, such process is called as quantization so they are discrete in time and quantized in amplitude okay so in the upcoming classes we are going to discuss more majorly about continuous time signals and discrete time signals in the case of signals and systems concepts and digital signals are learned in communication subject which we discuss later okay so our concentration or our area of interest will be on the analysis of continuous time signals and continuous time systems discrete time signals and discrete time signals in the subject signals and systems okay